Well, this has been my day so far. Not much. I had planned to go to the Japanese Automotive Federation to begin my uh, license process, but I wanted to study a little bit of Japanese that I might need uh, before the property management company calls to quote unquote test my Japanese. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it and I'm kind of nervous. I probably shouldn't be nervous about it because I mean, I'm going to give them money. <laughs> Shouldn't that be number one des? I think I think I am gonna go out. I guess I'm just gonna try to do the Jap stuff, and if they call while I'm in the middle of stuff, I will get it. I yeah. So not a total waste because I did study a little bit of Japanese, but maybe not the best use of time so far today. But yeah, I'll make up for it. Korekara. So on the way, I stopped in Shibuya for a certain dish, a very exotic dish that I'll show you in a minute. Jaff. I just got finished at Jaff. Um, the point of this is they have to like, uh, in order for me to get my driver's license, it has to be translated. My my American dri driver's license has to be translated to Japanese by an official uh, entity. And Jaff is that entity. Or US Embassy would have worked too. But Jaff is apparently cheaper or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's quite a far trip. It took about maybe 45 minutes an hour to get out here. Plus I stopped it. Taco Bell and by the way it was as good as Taco Bell is which is to say okay um, so it was a really easy process just went up there they made a copy of my driver's license I could have done this all by mail by mail but it would have taken longer um, but anyway then they make a copy of the driver's license they have you fill out a form you pay them 40 bucks and then you leave and so I was out of there in like 10 15 minutes um, but it'll take three or four days to get the translation in the mail uh, and I have to sign for it they won't just drop it off so I have to be there in three or four days and if I'm not there they'll put a little thing in the mailbox and uh, I'll have to call and they'll deliver it another deliver it another day so there might be another day where I'm just kind of chilling at the house hopefully it delivers in three days instead of four so I don't have to wait for two days um, all that to say uh, yeah, I'm all the way over here now. Um, I'm not sure really what to do besides go home. <laughs> but I did, uh, I did a thing. I accomplished another thing. So keep on keeping on. I think I found something to do. A little tiny park in the middle of Tokyo. Real, nothing really, just this little building, tiny. Tiny little... <laughs> it's Tokyo Tower. I didn't realize how close I was um, to it, but within walking distance, and so I'm here now. There's no one here. Just little old me in Tokyo Tower. I made it to underneath. My head's in the way. Tokyo Tower. Yeah. So, that's a bit of a hill. But I'm underneath the tower. Cool. Guess I'll go in there. Well, I came into Tokyo Tower, and it's time for a snack. This is the only, this is only like the third 
brand of zero calorie <laughs> drink I found, and they're all cola. They're all, there's a Coke Zero, there's Pepsi Zero, and now there's Mets Zero. And then I got a little pack of the things that Sydney and I like. Wesley and Russell and Lucy and Gussie and Sydney and Flidney and Blidney. We'll come back to this when you everyone's here. Because I, I didn't go up it because that's not something I want to do alone. And it, um, so <laughs> I didn't go up it. But I had a snack in the downstairs. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back though. Look, you're, you can be you're like right up to it. You almost touch it, sort of. It's still like 10 feet away. express train on accident and uh, it took me past my station where my Airbnb is and so I thought about it and I was like well I don't really have anything else to do today except wait for that call I guess so I decided to stay on the express train all the way to Saginuma station which will be our station on the Din and Toshi line uh, if we get this house assuming we get this house um, and I was like, ah, oh, I'll explore around, see what I see, and you know, see what it what it takes to get to the house from the Saginuma Station. Because the other day when I went with James, we went to the Blue Line Nakagawa Station, which is a line that I would have to transfer. Um, so I was going to explore, and it is raining. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to last long, and I'll look that up. Uh, but if it is going to last long, maybe I'll buy an umbrella. But if it's not going to last long, then I'll just wait it out. But there's a lot already at the station. Uh, there's, of course, a Schmicky D's right next to a BR. And oh, I can't zoom. Can't zoom with the camera facing me. Um, which they call Sa T1 ice cream. Um, so, anyway, and this is a uh, like a shopping center, uh, a uh, grocery store and stuff. Um, but yeah, rain. Rain. Dittemus. One umbrella later. It's so miniature. I didn't realize that, but it'll work, maybe. Do you see the face, Maggie? He's cute. He's cutie. I walked just a little bit further and saw another cutie. Soggy cat. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a difficult. It's kind of. Uh, you go uh, like into a valley and then back up uh, out of the valley to here. Man, I didn't even time it. But, you know, Google Maps says 20 minute walk. I'd say, yeah, it's probably close to that. Um, I'm sure there's a different way that doesn't require going down and then up. Um, but yeah, I made it. There's, there's that house. Now, what would be supremely awkward is if uh, we don't get this. But then, hey, just some decent little exercise. Nothing wrong with a, an exercise day out in the rain. Um, but yeah, I don't know. seemed like a pretty little walk. Again, I'd like to find the route that doesn't go into a valley and then back up. I was thinking, oh, this is all downhill. So maybe I'll be taken to the station in the morning and I'll walk home at night or something like that. But it's kind of equal down and up both ways. And once again, there's that park that we went to, James and, and uh, Emmy and I. And there's some kids out there playing. And yeah, good, good brisk little walkie. So I came to the backyard a little bit. Looks like, looks like maybe the next door neighbors are moving out too. 
but there's the backyard. A little closer shot of it. And there's the house. And like I said, it looks like the neighbors might be moving out too. And then their yard is so nice. But yeah, there's no one in there. And it's all cleared out. Interessante. Interessante indeed. Maybe if this one gets taken, the other one would be available. Who knows? But yeah, it's got like a little porch-ish area. We could put like a grill maybe. I don't know if we're allowed to grill. And a little garden-ish area with the hose area. And a couple of tree areas. Um, yeah, I think we're responsible for the yard, is what I found out. But uh, it looks like it's a simple enough yard to upkeep. Kind of get my Japanese wabi-sabi game going on. But uh, yeah, it'd be a nice little space to like host people maybe. Um, or have the kids play. It'd be cool. Have our own little yard. I never thought that would happen. Uh, uh, um, made it to Tama Plaza station. This one was very far and very difficult. <laughs> like a very significant portion was uphill. So I doubt we'd be walking here, but there's buses and hopefully we'll have a car at some point. And it's a pretty big station. So I'm gonna go have a look inside. So this has been a weird uh, video day, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed walking around with me. Now, I guess I'm, I guess I'm getting dinner. I don't know. Also, I don't know what I'm getting for dinner. But there is this. That's the first one of those I've seen. Tama Plaza and Misudo. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this strange day together of walking around. I did like another 15 or 16,000 steps today, so that's good. I ended up eating another meal um, just because donuts didn't do it for me. So I had uh, gyudon, which is just like sh uh, thinly sliced beef over rice, a rice bowl. Uh, and it came with uh, side salad and miso soup. Um, it was okay. It was not bad. But I was super full after that. And then I came home and I crashed for like an hour. And then I forced myself to wake up to do this video. And that's our day together. I hope you've enjoyed it.